Hey Mamshis and welcome back to another episode of the Vlogging Tips series. On this video, we're gonna answer one of your questions, which is from the Practical Mama. Okay, she said, Mommy Ruth, have you been afraid of being judged when you started? How do you deal with negative feedback, yung mga unconstructed criticisms, and did you think about what your relatives and friends will say given that a portion of your life will be over the net? Your thoughts, please, or maybe create an episode about my question, please. Okay. So, this is actually a very nice question. The Practical Mama, thank you so much for sending in your question. And I'd love to create a, an episode about this. Because I really love this topic. Because it recently happened to me. I was being judged on being a, <laughs> a bad mom. An un unconstructive criticism. You know, you may mga... Alam mo naman yung criticism na they wanted you to learn. And then there's criticism that they want to hurt you. So there's a big difference between the two of them and once you know the difference just have to make sure now you yourself you know that you're not doing something wrong sabi nga nila how does a duck you know sustain itself in the water paano niya naka paano niya nakakaya yung grabbing damaging you know running water around the duck every day so yung duck kasi they keep their feathers well oiled Kaya hindi siya nasisira. Kasi diba yung feathers, pag na ano ng tubig, nagdidikit-dikit. But the duck, it doesn't. Fine pa rin yung feathers niya. So, make sure na you yourself, you don't have an emotional wound about the topic. Make sure na you are well oiled. You know? So, it works like this. Kung may sarili kang, ano, may issue ka na talaga sa sarili mo about something and then other people points it out to you, mas masakit siya. Pero if you already resolve that issue about yourself and then other people person points that out to you it just slides off just like the water on the duck's feathers so that's how it works when it comes to criticism i struggled with criticism and i'm still struggling with criticism right now you could ask my husband he can't criticize me <laughs> because we will have a big fight but i've been trying to do better every day and that's what uh, I do. Uh, I started out YouTube 2014. It's been a long time. I still get hurt by negative feedbacks. And we're only human. It will happen. But you know what? The better way to deal with it is deal with your own emotional wounds. So that when other people uh, point it out. Because sometimes, pag pinoint out ng other people, hindi naman ganun ka damaging. But ikaw yung sarili mo mas damaging yung mga thoughts mo about that thing. For example, um, just to make sense, if let's say na I have an emotional wound about not having a mother, okay, it's a deep rooted emotional wound na it's so hard to explain, it's just deep within your pagkatao na, <laughs> mga ganong levels na when you see other people happy with their mom, talking about their mom, and when other people point out about, you know, anything about the subject of being moms so it really affects you so recently on my channel somebody commented na why do i always say i don't have a mom and i don't have a mother-in-law parang ganun why do i always paawa effect ganun and she's telling me on the comment na ako nga i don't have a mother and i am not friends with my mother-in-law but i feed my child healthy food every day Something like that. Because there was one time na sa, sa vlog ko, I showed na I was feeding River Burger, blah, blah, blah. And then I did a grocery haul na sa grocery haul ko, meron akong jelly ace, meron akong mga ganun. So anyways, usually the food thing will not affect me. But her comment about mom and things like that, it really hurt. So it is a signal for me that I have to accept Na I don't really have a mom. I have to stop asking people sympathy because I don't have a mom if I'm doing that. And I have to uh, conceal that wound. Because if that wound is still hurting and that wound is still nagnana na, it can still hurt me. So right now, what I'm doing is that I'm accepting the fact na nothing's gonna change. I didn't have a mom, so I will not have a mom. And just because of that doesn't mean that I get a free pass on everything, which I already knew. But 
the reason that I'm telling people about I don't have a mom in my channel because I'm so grateful for all of you guys who are like a mom to me. So anyways, that person doesn't know that. So always think that people who criticize you obviously doesn't know you and obviously doesn't care about you. They just wanted to do something or say something that they think they know better and if you see na yung criticism niya, it has no point talaga to help you become a better person. She's out there to hurt you. So, hurt people hurt other people. Sabi nga sa The Feast ni Brother Bo Sanchez. So, just try to give sympathy na lang. Ako, I find it in my heart, even though how difficult it is na ikaw na nga yung sinaktan, ikaw na nga yung biniktima, I try to put it in this perspective, okay? This person is hurting me because she mismo she is hurt in herself. So instead of magalit ako sa kanya, in the end, after no na feel ko yung galit ko, in the end, I felt sympathy for her because she has to go out online and attack people who's virtually um, a stranger on the internet. Probably I triggered her, her wound that she doesn't have a mom. Because I'm talking about my wound, I don't have a mom. So now she feels she can, she wants to hurt me. Because it reminded her of her situation na she doesn't have a mom. So now she wants to hurt me the same way she's hurting herself. Does it make sense? I'm sorry guys. I'm sorry if medyo, <laughs> medyo magalo siya. Pero yeah, that's, that's how I think about it. So instead of magalit ako sa kanya, naawa na lang ako sa kanya. Kasi I feel like she has the same wound. I feel sympathy for her, but I will not let her negative comments hurt me because it's my decision on which comments, which bashers, or which criticisms will hurt me or not. Because right now, you think, why am I going to hurt in the comments? Yeah, she also is hurt, right? So, ako naman, uh, as long as I accept that that's what happened to me, that's what happened to me, I've reconciled with my life story, I accepted my life story, and this life story is what will make me stronger. This life story is what gives me my identity, and it's, it's, it's the story of my life, and it's the story of how I came to be who I am today. And I own it. I own it. All of it. The bad parts, the ugly parts, and the good parts. Then, no one else can bring me down. Because I already accepted it in myself. The criticisms will only bring you down if they point out things that you haven't accepted about yourself. So, I hope that explanation is so much better. <laughs> I hope that that helps you out, Practical Mama. And about the other questions more about relatives and blah 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 and people you know seeing your life on the internet. Ako naman kasi I I have a motto na I live by. It's a motto that goes like this. This motto is for people who's been struggling with inferiority complex, which I struggled myself all throughout my life. You know, that's what happens when you don't have a mom. <laughs> and you don't have someone to raise you. And all I had was books. And these books are such a blessing to me. They come with so much wisdom. So, isa sa mga books na sabi ko, ang nabasa ko, yun nga, I don't have to explain myself. I don't have, and I don't owe anyone anything for being here in this world. I am here in this world because I am here, I have every right as anyone else. So that extends to relatives and parents. Okay, if that makes sense. Um, of course, we're grateful for them, we love them, but we don't owe them our lives. I'm sorry, this, go this is going to be controversial, but your parents choose to have you. And now that you are here, you don't Oh, your life to them okay you just exist because they will you to exist so it's nice to show gratitude but you have to have your own self okay because you are not an extension of your parents you have to have your own self just uh, give enough respect enough gratitude but deep inside you should know within yourself that you don't always have to explain yourself to everyone you don't always have to 
uh, you don't owe anyone anything, any favors for being here. You have equal rights as the next person to be here and occupy space in this world. You have that right as much as the other person next to you. So yeah, that's all I can say. And if your relatives are, you know, um, giving you heartaches and your friends are commenting about your life, as long as you're being safe on the net, you're not showing your house address, you're not showing your passport details, you're not showing your car plate number, then I think you're all good. Because uh, naman sa akin, uh, pag vlog is a choice, it's a lifestyle. And it comes with the territory that people will comment about your life. And it's not for everyone. So, ikaw, if your life is being ruled by what other people are, you know, telling you, um, it's gonna be hard to make it in vlogging. Because people will have different opinions. And if you feel like you have to appease each and every opinion of you, you will go crazy, honestly speaking. <laughs> Listen to me. <laughs> you cannot please everybody. And that's a sinking ship to, to get on. So don't get on that ship, okay? So if you are uh, ready to be yourself, if you are ready to show your real self to the world, to your audience, and if you have a mission, like, bakit ka ba nag-vlog? Like, for me, nag-vlog ako sa Miss K. Chris kasi gusto ko maging FA sila. That's more important than what my best friend will say about me talking in the internet, telling me na, your eyebrows are not even on that video. <laughs> okay, di ba? So, you know, timbangin mo lang. Ano ba yung mas matimbang? Yung eyebrows mo? Yung makeup mo? Yung criticism nila? Or yung reason na nag-vlog ka? So, for me, that's an easy answer. And that's why I kept on continuing. And then later on, I just realized that my friend, she just really wants me to show up on camera with even eyebrows. <laughs> so, hindi ko na siya nati take as criticism. Pinagtatawan na lang namin siya ngayon. So, yeah, I know that this is a sensitive topic. And uh, for me, it's a little bit personal as well because I've struggled with it. But, you know, just try to make everything as light as you can. Because. <laughs> In the end, we only have one life, and <laughs> the best way to live it is just you know, laugh about our mistakes, laugh about what we think was like big deal, but actually, in the end, we will think that oh my god, that's such that's just nothing, it's not a big deal. What's in know what's important to you and do that, and if it's vlogging, then do vlogging. Okay, so I hope this video is not too long, and I hope this video will help someone out there. And if you think na this video makes sense <laughs> to you or it might make sense to your friend, do make sure that you give it a like, subscribe to this channel, and share this video to your friend who is shy but wants to start vlogging. If you want to know more tips about vlogging or having vlogging as a business, or if you want to study that on a more serious level, go ahead and check out our workshop check out our next workshop okay if you could get on it the details will be on the description box below for our latest schedule so make sure you check that out and see if you could attend it's gonna be all worth your while and we're going to teach you everything we know about the vlogging and the business of vlogging especially the business side so if you're a little bit interested in that how we make money here how we how we do our production, how we do our systems, we are your girl. So I hope to see you guys also on our workshop, The School of Vlogging. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook, The School, School of Vlogging PH. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye! Mwah. Hi, I'm Mommy Shishi. I attended the vlogging workshop by Mommy Ruth last June 1, 2019 at Henry's Camera because Mommy Ruth is one of the vloggers that I really look up to. She's very good at what she does and we can see that she seriously wants to impart her knowledge and experiences with her viewers in order to educate and inspire. The workshop started at 6 p.m. and although we avoid staying inside the mall later than 6 p.m. due to traffic, I really know that it's worth it and I'm glad that I did attend her workshop.
Ang gawing Mommy Ruth conducted the workshop, it seems that she made sure that every participant uh, understands what she teaches. She's very organized and clear. You will know from her words and actions that how she genuinely wants to help others to do better in this craft she's into, which is vlogging. And thank you, Mommy Ruth, and I hope to see you again soon. I'm Jay Moore, a wedding videographer and video editor. Vlogging is another stage or level to explore. So, as video editor also, so may mga kaibigan ako ng ano, nagpapa-edit na sa akin ng mga travel tours nila. Ina-edit ko yun na pinablog style, yung artistic. Na-enjoy ko naman yung pag-edit. Kaya naisip ko, bakit di nila ako gumawa ng sarili kong vlog. Pero ang problema kasi, ang camera siya eh. Kasi sanay ako sa trabaho ko, sanay akong ako yung nagsishoot, ako yung director. Yung time na ginusto ko na mag gumawa ng sariling vlog, na timing lang din na may nakita akong post ni Miss Ruth na may workshop. Ayun. So, I grabbed the opportunity kasi parang na-curious ako. Gusto kong malaman kung paano mag-vlog. Sino-sino yung gustong gumawa ng vlog. So, in general, lahat pwede mag-vlog. Yung ibang batang-bata pa gusto na mag-vlog eh. So, nakakatuwa. Makita sila. So, lahat naman kami doon pare-pareho ng level eh. Hindi mo mo pwedeng sabihin na mas lang ang ata ko kasi ako yung matagal na sa film film industry. So, nakatuwa na ina-enjoy ko naman yung ano, yung talks. Yung pagbablog kasi hindi ko naman pinangarap talaga or di ko ginusto para lang kumita. Siyempre bonus na yun eh. So, doon ko na rin natutunan yung ano yung pwedeng ano yung pwedeng mangyari pag nag-vlog ka. Paano kakikita? o paano mo makapakinabangan yung ginawa mong vlog so ganun so masaya masaya nakilala ko yung ibang speakers na matagal na yun sa pagbablog so marami ako natutunan kung ano yung mga dapat gawin for vlogging sa lahat ng nag-organize ng workshop salamat sana marami pang workshop dumating para sa mga gustong matutong paano mag vlog